Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Today I'm back with another collection tour, picking up where I left off. I think this is a, what, a part four? Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys some Empire Strikes Back toys today. Starting off on the top shelf, we have some snow troopers manning the tripod laser cannon. Um, we got both variations here. Um, the guy on the top shelf here, regular variation. The guy man in the cannon has the double visor. Um, over here we have a gorgeous Taiwan Boba Fett, an absolute beautiful specimen of a figure. And here we have a uh, Empire Strikes Back Kenner catalog. One of the infamous catalogs that was packaged in the uh, ships and playsets. And this is a enamel pin from Left Coast Graphics, a cool company that makes vintage Kenner throwback collectibles. Um, something that I, I do like. And I'm actually uh, dropping a video on them tomorrow. So you guys can check out the video on Left Coast Graphics tomorrow. Um, that is a, uh, another enamel pin from Left Coast Graphics. Um, like I said, in greater detail tomorrow, you will learn more about that. Um, here I have some Yodas, some incomplete Yodas with a beat up uh, micro world Bespin Luke, one with a gun and one with the saber. And over here we have a Ugnaught and, uh, and a Bespin Luke, a beautiful Bespin Luke, hanging out with the three amigos, uh, my three in other incomplete Yodas. Um, and of course, uh, hanging out with the two below. So I got five incomplete Yodas just kind of picking away. I will complete them. I've got a Wampa here in the corner to match up the artwork of the vinyl case behind the little uh, acrylic shelf. You guys can see that. Um, I have some snow troopers down on the right, I'm sorry, the left corner. So I've got my snow troopers there. Got Yoda in the middle. Um, so I've kind of tried to haphazardly display my toys like the vinyl artwork um, in the back there. So just cool, just a, a mix match of different awesome Empire Strikes Back toys. Moving on down to the second shelf, we have a, another Ugnaught with a smiling variation Lando, looking pretty snazzy in his blue getup. We have Bosk in his uh, unofficial signature uh, mini rig vehicle, the Cap 2, the Captivator, which is a pretty cool mini rig. And we have our heroes. We have a um, Bespin Luke, we have Bespin Leia, and Bespin Han Solo, of course, the trifecta, the crew, um, Bespin Guard, and we have a cloud car pilot hanging out there. And of course, I have to have a cloud car on this shelf. This is the unofficial cloud car uh, shelf. And if you guys notice, I have a cloud car pilot in each pod. There are two pods, so you better have a pilot in each pod, in my opinion. Um, that's uh, the way it was intended. In the back here I have a Bespin guard with his Fu Manchu mustache looking like Charles Bronson. And I have my beautiful Bespin security guard mint on card action figure. One of my pride and joys. Unpunched. Still has its um, original sticker on there which is awesome. And next to that I have the Dengar MOC from Empire Strikes Back. Also on punch, super cool. Love these two MOCs. I got these from my good buddy OG Jedi. Um, thank you, Jim. Love you, brother. Um, just an awesome shelf. I really love the pieces that are on here. I guess you could call this the best spin cabinet. Flying on down to the third shelf, we have another best spin security guard. Got best spin Leia in a beautiful gown absolutely uh, looking like the princess that she is. Next to her we have Chewbacca carrying a removable limb C-3PO in his net. Um, behind them we have two stormtroopers hanging out with the stormtrooper that's drawn onto the Cloud City playset. It's almost like I got three stormtroopers there. We've got Han Solo in the middle there about to be uh, strapped in for his uh, carbon freeze. Poor guy. Um, we got Boba Fett with Lando and Lord Vader, no doubt huddled together discussing uh, the very fate of Captain Solo over here. And on the right side, we have another Ugnaught 
and we have a Bespin security guard just kind of hanging out overseeing things like they did in the movie. And you guys know that this is the Cloud City playset from Kenner, uh, made of cardboard, cardstock I should say, a beautiful playset for what it is. I think the drawing is uh, really well done, beautiful colors, um, like three different elements to it. You got the carbon silo, uh, you have the, um, I guess you'd call it the dining room where Leia and Chewie and the stormtroopers are hanging out. And then on the far right, you have the interrogation room where Vader tortured Han uh, for apparently just for fun because he was upset because he didn't ask him any questions. Again, Han Solo, poor guy. And on the very bottom, I have my bounty hunters. We've got Zuckus and Forlom, and we have an IG-88 with some custom silver painting on his bandolier there and on his arms. It's kind of a custom that I'd found in one of my uh, lots that I'd acquired, and I just stuck him in there. He looks cool. And, of course, Dengar. And then over here, we have the scene, you know, that scene. Put Captain Solo in the cargo hold. Boba Fett, the man himself, just making sure everything goes smoothly so that he can take Captain Solo to Jabba the Hutt to collect his bounty. And of course, the Slave One ship. What a, what a beautiful ship. So awesome. One of the most iconic ships in Star Wars. Um, just a, an awesome looking piece. A fantastic toy by Kenner. Really uh, fleshes out the Boba Fett um, display. And behind that, I have a, um, a card back for an original Boba Fett. Um, it is, of course, figureless. One day, I will have this guy here on a card back, mint on card, one day. So it's kind of like my unofficial placeholder. And that is a muzzle for a Empire Strikes Back laser pistol. Um, I have an extra, so it's just kind of hanging out in the back there. And this right here, this is one of the first pieces I ever unboxed on the channel. This is my 12-inch Boba Fett, an awesome-looking action figure, um, fully, uh, well, almost complete. I am missing the Wookiee scalps, the last thing I need, um, but just an awesome piece. I love Boba Fett. So this is definitely my Boba Fett shelf, the unofficial bounty hunter shelf with all the bounty hunters, with the exception of Bosk, who is in the... Uh, other shelf up above in the cap too. This is easily one of my favorite shelves in my in my entire Kenner collection. Love Boba Fett. He is the man. So this is definitely my Bespin Curio cabinet. Um, I showed you guys the other one with Hoth and Dagobah. This is the Bespin one. So just thought you guys would like to take a peek at everything I've got in here. I've actually done videos on all the most of the items in here, like the Slave One the um, uh, Cloud City playset, Cloud Car. Um, so I will leave links in the description down below for you guys. And this concludes my Bespin tour. Appreciate you guys tuning in today and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please share it and give that like button a thumbs up because it greatly helps out the channel. And if you've not done so, blast that subscribe button and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.